Teddy Bronson and Jalen Hutchstein are two normal little boys living with intractable epilepsy, a seizure disorder where medicine does not work to stop them. Coined by the National Library for Medicine as neurology's silent killer, the drug-resistant disease makes up for 30% of people diagnosed. But according to the Epilepsy Foundation, there is a drug that has been proven in multiple studies to stop drug-resistant epilepsy seizures. That drug is medical marijuana. Jayan's mom, Nicole Hutchstein, says they have tried countless medicine combinations for Jayan and many brain surgeries to try and stop his seizures, but they keep returning. Teddy's mom, Elizabeth Bronson, says that after many surgeries and medicines not working, the legalization of medical marijuana would give Teddy a shot he might not have without it. Giving our family the opportunity for medicinal cannabis can change my son's life because he can still be living. We, I'm convinced without implanting Teddy a year ago, I don't know that he would have saw his fifth birthday. Regardless of what happens to LB 588, which currently still needs to be voted on by the Judiciary Committee, Nicole and Elizabeth both agree they will never give up trying to get medical marijuana legalized because giving up would mean giving up on their kids. Our fight will continue and as battered and torn and worn as we all are, um, I can't give up for him because that's not an option. I can't go back to my son and say, that's it. For the Omaha News, I'm Madison Bonin.